right, coming up next, it's a lightweight championship fight between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Justin Gaethje. As hard a title shot to come by as there is in any UFC division is at 155 pounds. Here he is, the consensus number one lightweight title challenger, the number one contender, at least in terms of the rankings, getting set for a title fight here tonight. A lot of people think he is a live underdog in this championship setting. I guess we'll find out here, Joe Rogan. As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of this cage tonight as the new champion. The reigning defending undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Of course, the target is on his back. All eyes are on this man tonight as he tries to make good on yet another title defense. He has owned this division for some time. The question is, as the challenges get stiffer, can he remain the hunted? Several championship fights to his credit, a lot of 25-minute wars. As he gets older, the challenges get stiffer. We'll see how he handles this one tonight. The champion headed to the cage right now is in the groove. He is in his prime right now. His training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. He is well prepared for this contest. the tape for this lightweight scrap. Both fighters 29 years of age with similar height and reach. Once again, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Lavey. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. It's easy for us. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 19 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Introducing the challenger, Justin, the highlight game chief. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 27 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighed in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Pakistan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a... And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's about to go down right fight. now. All right, here we go. UFC lightweight title on the line. Effective strike there by Gaethje. Big oh, left good hand left there. Hand. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. There he goes. That's it. Boom. Solid leg kicks landed there by Nurmagomedov. 
Gaethje gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Nurmago Medov gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. These guys are going at it here right away, trading blows. Connects with the punch there. Stuff's another takedown here. You know he wants to keep this fight standing. That'll help. Couldn't agree with you more. Oh, that's a good strike there by Nurmago Medov. Huge oh, left hand. Right hand. We'll see if he can follow it up. Boom. Shin to the dome. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. <laughs> Lands oh, a big elbow man. there. That is rough. Level change there. Goes for the takedown. Hammerfist gets through. In half guard now. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, man, postured up, landed a huge elbow from the top. We'll see if that one will cut him open. And he reverses position. Nice punch to the body. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. He's got a clinch. Yeah, and here he goes again. Oh, nice oh, take down. Down. to slam him down. Yeah, he's tying up that arm, trying to get a Kimura on it. He yanked out of the Kimura. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He's in half guard here. Big punch from the top. Just over two minutes to go. Lands a good shot from the bottom. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Back to side control. Under two minutes now to go in the opening round. Inside control here. Inside control, tying up that arm, looking for the Kimura. He's got that arm locked. And he got his arm loose. And moves to north-south. Excellent movement here on the ground. Side control. Mago Medov gets in the clinch. Works the double underhooks here. Well, he leaned right into that hook shot, Joe, and that is certainly something that bears watching here moving forward. I know he's confident in his chin, but he's a sitting duck there, walking right into the pocket to absorb that hook. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Into side control again. Inside control here. He's looking for the Kimura, trying to lock it up. Got a very good Kimura. Now he's pretty deep. Oh, that's nasty. And he's free. Beautiful Kimura escape. He's in full guard here. Trying to take the back here. Final seconds here in round one. Marco Madoff's hammer fist there. That one gets blocked. Four seconds for the end of round one. And here's a big slam. Nice technique. And here we see some really technical offense with submissions. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. He's really one step ahead of you on the submissions. Now you're doing a great job with your defense. But we have. Brittany Palmer is here, as always.
Second round here. This is going to become one of those things where you're just wondering what's, what's the opponent going to be able to do to him. Not even whether or not he's going to win, but what's his opponent going to be able to do to him. Habib with another beautiful takedown. Oh, absolutely, Joe. His takedowns have been on point tonight. That strike will count. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Well, you don't want to spend too much time fighting off of your back, Joe, but pretty good work here from the bottom by Gaethje. Oh, beautiful, beautiful right hand by the champion. Nice hammer fist. He's landing some big strikes from the full guard. And busy as he looks to improve position here. And he winds up on top. Excellent sweep, winds up in guard. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Gaethje. He's putting his hands down on the thighs. He's looking to pass. Big shot from the bottom. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. Beautiful elbow there. That was a hard elbow there by the champion. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Good punch. Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You got to get that head off the center line. That punch will work right through the guard. Transitions to full guard. Big punch from the bottom. In half guard. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. He's looking for the Kimura here in side control. What he wants to do here is he wants to pin his opponent's hand down. Then he wants to slide. And he's out. Wow, that arm was in deep. In full guard here. Nice sweep. Establishes full mount here. Oh, hammer fist here by Nermago Meta. He's got half guard. He's posturing up here. Big punch from the bottom. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw offense. Staying busy here. You'd like to see that, Joe. He lands a big shot from the bottom. It appears that cut is getting worse. Transitioning to the arm submission now. He's got the arm here. Now he's going to throw his leg over. He's got that arm locked up. This is going to be it. Break the grip. Outstanding. A beautiful job in setting up this arm bar. Excellent technique. Yeah, really impressive work out of him here tonight. He had to work for it, no doubt about it, but a nice job to isolate and ultimately secure the arm and then get the tap from the arm bar. So a pretty submission finish turned in by that fighter here tonight. And here's the end. And here it is again, absolutely perfectly executed. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So there he is, folks, the UFC lightweight champion. And Joe, he figured to beat any 155er in the world here tonight as clean a performance as he could have turned in. And ultimately, he gets the win by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has going to stop for this contest. At three minutes, 12 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm bar. And still, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Well, many argue it's the UFC's toughest weight class. It's one of the more difficult belts to defend. But he certainly did just that here tonight. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your winner by submission. And now all that's left.